a United Nations study says Africa is losing nearly $89 billion each year through illicit financial flows such as theft and tax evasion. That's more than is received in development aid and is equivalent to 3.7% of the continent's GDP. Nigeria's Vice President Oluyemi Oluleke Osibanjo said the illicit financial flows were impeding sustainable development across Africa. They undermine the foundations of democracy and provide the financial in incentives for terrorist activities and fuel conflicts on the continent. He said the commercial form of illicit financial flows, especially tax evasion and aggressive tax avoidance, accounted for 65% of the total. Mukisa Kitui, Secretary General of the UN Conference on Trade and Development, says Africa and its people are being robbed of their prospects. Countries with the high illicit financial flows are demonstrably less productive in agriculture than they are those with, the, with, the, with, the, with more control on illicit financial flows. Countries with high illicit financial flows invest about 25% less in health, 58% less in education than comparable countries on the continent. The UN report described Africa as a net creditor to the world, saying that more illicit capital flows out than the continent has in external debt. What's more, the situation could be worse. Junior Davis, head of policy and research at Antarctic's Africa Division, said the 89 billion figure was likely an underestimate, citing data limitations. Uh, uh, uh,